Наталья. Меня зовут Эмили. Спасибо за подкаст. Здравствуйте. This is a spoonful of Russian podcast, and here's your host, Natalia. Привет, привет, привет. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Spoonful of Russian with Natalia, where we learn Russian one bite at a time. Спасибо, Emily, for your wonderful greeting for this lesson. Support a spoonful of Russian today by joining Audible.com for a free membership. They have an unmatched selection. Audible is the leading audiobook service. Fantasies, romances, mysteries, histories, bestsellers, bios, sci-fi, and self-help. Whatever sends your pulse racing or your mind churning, you'll find it here. Lesson 27. The Russian stress patterns. Accented versus unaccented vowels. In both English and Russian, the quality of vowel sound depends on the presence or absence of accent or stress on the vowel. Accent or stress refers to the system of relative strength of syllables in the language. Compare the quality of the vowel sounds in the accented and unaccented syllables of the following Russian word, and its English equivalent. Mama, mama. Both English and Russian have strong stress, but in English the stressed syllable is marked more by length than by tension and vigor. The two languages also have different ways of distributing the speech energy over the length of a word. English words of three or more syllables usually have three levels of stress, main stress, secondary stress, and unaccented syllables. The secondary stress will be found at least two syllables away from the main stress. In Russian, all of the stress energy is concentrated on one syllable of the word. The energy builds up very rapidly just before the stressed syllable and falls off even more rapidly after the stress. Compare the following English word and its Russian equivalent to observe the difference. Слушайте. Listen. Auditorium. Auditoria. Note that in the English word, the second strongest syllable is two syllables away from the main stress, while in the Russian word, the second strongest syllable is the one immediately before the stressed syllable. This is due to the fact that it shares slightly in the buildup of energy on the main syllable. In materials printed for native speakers, accents are not marked. In materials for teaching Russian to foreigners, however, Accents are generally marked in the words of two or more syllables. For example, Anton Doma. Accents are generally not marked on capitalized letters. The example would be Anna. Keep in mind, however, that these markings refer only to relative stress within the word. Within the sentence, a more complex system exists, with some one word usually being heavily stressed, while other words which are stressed when pronounced in isolation will be basically unstressed in the overall sentence stress distribution. In neither English nor Russian do we read all of the blank spaces and as pauses. Rather, we pronounce whole phrases as units, with strong and weak words within the larger units. In Russian, the stress may occur on any one syllable, and within the forms of a particular word, may shift its position. The stress is an integral part of the word itself. It may differentiate between words or between various forms of a single word. And the stress must be learned when the word is learned. The best way to do this is to let your ear do the learning for you. Don't make it an intellectual process. Unstressed vowels are, in general, shorter and less tense than the corresponding, corresponding accented vowels. Lack of stress has relatively little effect on the vowel U, the unaccented variant being simply less tense and full-sounding. Слушайте. Listen. Тут, туда. 
lack of stress has more effect on the vowel a. In the syllable just before the main stress of the word, the second strongest syllable, the sound will be somewhat less tense and full sounding, similar to the vowel a in the English word but, but, but. In other unaccented syllables, the vowel becomes even more lax and is similar to the sound in the end of papa, p-a-p-a, -A, papa. In this course, the unaccented variant of a, which occurs in the syllable just before the accented vowel, will be indicated by a. That is the same symbol as used for the accented vowel, minus the accent mark. The variant occurring in other unaccented syllables will be indicated by this symbol. Lack of stress has an even greater influence on the vowel O. In fact, this vowel sound does not occur as a rule in unaccented syllables, although it is often written in such syllables. Instead of O, there will appear in unaccented syllables the same two varieties of unaccented vowel sounds that were described in the discussion of unaccented A above. Always keep in mind the pattern of energy distribution in the word, as uh, diagrammed before. If you keep this constantly in mind, you will not need to worry about the relative values of the uh, unaccented vowels. The pattern of energy buildup and drop-off will take care of this for you. Failure to pay proper attention to the dynamics of the stress system is one of the greatest mistakes Americans make when speaking Russian. But it can be easily mastered if practiced conscientiously at the very beginning. Слушайте. Listen. Он, она. Он, оно. Том, дома. Дом, дома. Тут, туда. Мама. Папа. Анна. Дома. Это. Этот. Она. Антон. Now this time I would like for you to repeat after me. Let's read this together. Он, она. Он, оно. Том, дома. Дом, дома. Тут, туда. Мама. Папа. Анна. Дома. Это. Этот. Ана. Антон. This is it for lesson 27. Thank you all for listening. I hope you've learned something new. Next time, we're going to talk about the intonation or the melody of a sentence of Russian declarative sentences. Let's <laughs> go.